Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. This is, yep, day four. Well, the end of day four literally is, as I'm recording this, about 11.15 on Sunday night, uh, North Texas time. And uh, it is literally the uh, con wrap-up. I was hanging out with a bunch of other con goers. Uh, just, uh, it's not even decompressing because we had a lot of great time. But just doing the usual telling of stories and such. It's always sweet sorrow on the last day of North Texas or any convention, but North Texas this year, I spoke to many, many people. It had a very special feel. It's always an amazing con, but it really had a special feel. So as I'm about to pack my luggage for tomorrow, and the flight tomorrow, I figured I'd do a little show and tell of my acquisitions. So this is uh, Bill Webb's Necromancer's Game. This is uh, Advanced White Box Rules. This is what Bill generally runs at conventions, kind of, sort of, I guess. So that's pickup number one. I won this on the regular auction. Return to Dark Tower. This is the tournament adventure for North Texas for this year. This was a GM's copy, uh, number 11 of 20. Pretty darn cool. All right, let's. Oh, that's going to fall up there over there. Let's put you over here. What else did I get? Well, Peter Green's. Well, I think Luke Gygax. The uh, Dread from Geneva Lake 2, Call of Cthulhu Adventure. That's always going to be fun. Uh, we'll bring Skeeter back on the show to talk mad shit. Uh, Islands of Peril. This is from Paysetter Games, and it is a Holmes campaign adventure. Yeah, these are, but by the way, most of what you're going to be seeing here is stuff that you can probably buy directly from the vendors. This is Paysetter Games. But now we get the big play in the stiff. So I won a silent auction. And that silent auction was an auction of Metamorphosis Alpha releases. And from the Kickstarter. And I can't guarantee that I will run all of this material, but I can guarantee that I will give it a read in the coming months. And uh, I know it's like endless. And uh, give it a review. This is the the Goodman Games release, I do believe. Hey, there's the GM shield. The Captain's Table by Jim Wampler. Um, Warden Adventures, a series of encounters by James Ward. God rest his soul. Oh, wait, wait. There's more. There's a Michael Curtis adventure. Michael's been doing great material on the OSR for well over a decade. Joe Bittman adventure. Joe does very good work. Oh, now we get into the color stuff. Robots Among Us, James Ward. But wait, there's more. The Android Overlords, or Underlords. Another Michael Curtis. It, it was a really pretty big snag here on the uh, Fun Ocean. 40th anniversary. Look at our shiny cover. But wait, there's more. The Metamorphosis Alpha Collector's Edition. Pretty darn tootin'. Now, again, but wait, there's more. I think I might have something else. Ah. If I missed anything, I know I have some Darlene artwork that I will have to share when I get home. 
Fuzzy Heroes played this last year. This is Chris Clark. Chris Clark's uh, Fuzzy Heroes game is what you want to play with your youngins, or you just want to have a goofy game. Yeah, as long as you have stuffed animals, you can play Fuzzy Heroes. Then Chris gave me some review copies. So we have Inner City Redo from Chris Clark and Inner City Games. This is essentially Starsky and Hutch Beretta type of RPG gaming. Right up my alley. This is going to be one of the uh, early ones to review. By the way, I believe Chris Clark is going to have a Kickstarter of some material that he worked with with Gary. So we'll try to get him on the show. And Lance, a science fiction role-playing game set in the near future by Chris and James Ward. So a lot of James Ward pickups by me this year. Uh it's just how just how we roll. Oh, and of course, we got a bunch of dice bags, including some Metamorphosis Alpha dice bags. But I don't see. I don't. Reggie, do you see my dice bags? They're in that really, really big uh, Crown Royal bag. I think these are just um, the glasses from the whiskey. Oh, okay. I might have thrown, actually, you know, I might have thrown them already into the uh, luggage. I will show them off. So now there were three Metamorphosis Alpha bags, black, white, and red. And there were two other bidders, including Bad Mike and Angelo. And uh, I told Angelo and Bad Mike that if I happened to win it, I would give them first choice of one of those three bags. So I got one of those bags. Bad Mike got one, and Angelo got one. Because I figured that was, I the, the bags look nice. I don't need a full set. They were certainly limited. Um, this is what the con's about anyway. All right. North Texas RPG Con is about family. And much of this family that I spent time with uh, this year, I won't get to see for another 12 months or so. And that, well, that is sad. Um, what's amazing and energizing is the fact that I got to spend the last five days, Wednesday included, with my extended family. Well, I wouldn't give that up for the world. So to everyone that came up to me, shook my hand, patted me on the shoulder, waved and said, hey, love your channel, love your work, love your co-hosts, love Gamer's Health. Thank you. Really. That is the currency that this channel thrives on. Is your positive feedback or just your feedback? If you think we're doing something wrong, that something we can do better, please certainly let us know in the comments. And hopefully, if I haven't seen you yet at North Texas, I will get a chance to see you next year. And again, if you follow this channel and you see me at a convention, please come up to me. I might not know you, but I certainly hope that you feel you know me. All right. Uh, on that note, be safe, be well, God bless, roll this dice, roll them well. Back again tomorrow, in my good home in New York City. All right, folks, I'll catch you all later. Be good. God bless.